magandang umaga po sa kanilang lahat. Be, before I will start reading the message of the President, Mayor Rodrigo Roa Duterte, allow me to share with you my recollection of ex EDSA 86, a brief recollection of EDSA. February 21, a Friday, we were supposed to have our regular basketball game when our opposing team, headed by then-Major Noe Wong, I understand, I saw him earlier, did not show up without any notice. Little did we know that he was then already being tracked down together with, Colonel, as we know, Colonel Honasan, Senator Honasan, and Colonel Kapunan. The following morning, I heard from the radio about the three officials being tracked down. I went to our office, a law office formed earlier by Senator Juan Ponce Enrile, and everyone was in a daze. Around 10, around 10.30, Saturday, February 22, I was instructed to deliver a note to Senator Enrile. One couldn't just enter Krame Gates at that time. I was met by retired General, former sec Under Secretary of Defense, Salientes. He was able to slip me in inside the camp and brought to the office of Lieutenant General then Lieutenant General Fidel Bal Valdez Marcos. I wasn't able to sleep the note at once because at that time I saw both of them sleeping on top of the table. I remember JPE, his face was right in front of the yung paapo ni Fidel ni Secretary Ramos and si General Ramos naman, yung ulo niya nakatapat sa Mukha ni Senator Enrile. Sabi ko, I think this exercise will succeed. <laughs> anyway, after that, history came in. The following day, uh, right after that meeting at Krame, I, we proceeded to the gate here at gate three, and that started it all. We, the culmination is really February 24, if I recall it, right? So that's it. We're here, it's February 24, 31 years from, from then. Former President Fidel Ramos, <coughs> former Vice President Binay, former Senate President Juan Ponce Enrile, Senate President Coco Pimentel, Senator Gringo Hanasan, former Executive Secretary Ermita. To my fellow public servants, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good morning to all. My administration has always believed in the power of the people to chart their own destiny and establish a government that will put the people's interests, especially the welfare of the poor and underprivileged sectors as its topmost priority. 31 years have swiftly passed since EDSA, People Power Revolution, and perhaps now is the opportune time to ask ourselves, what have we achieved after EDSA? More than a mere commemoration, now is the perfect time for all of us to reflect and objectively assess what we have lost and what we have gained as a nation since that historic event. Our celebration today was highlighted by an awarding ceremony honoring various groups that played a crucial role in EDSA, the military, the religious, and the citizens at large. Indeed, the spirit of EDSA does not belong to one sector or one group of people, but to all Filipinos who believe in freedom and a democratic way of life. 
EDSA was not just a cry against years of abuse and corruption of governmental power. More importantly, it was a demonstration of the power that a united citizenry could muster. It was a movement of, by, and for the Filipino people brought about by their profound love of country. No single party, ideology, religion, or individual could claim credit for the bloodless revolution at EDSA. In the same way that no single party, ideology, religion, or individual could claim a monopoly of patriotism. Together with the two Good Citizenship Movement awardees, Mr. Valiente Namion, a wheelchair attendant in Naia who found and turned over 100,000 pesos to its owner, and Miss Sabrina Artadi, a former beauty queen who devoted much of her life feeding street children, our sectoral awardees today epitomize the transformative power of EDSA in creating a new breed of Filipinos dedicated to building a better and brighter future for our country. EDSA lives on and its spirit should continue to inspire heroism in all of us for the greater glory of God and country. True heroes, after all, are found in every one of us who do with its passing day, our quiet work of nation building, dutifully, joyfully, passionately, and in spite of our occasional differences. Hand in hand, let us all take a pause and take a stock of events gone by, then reset our vision, renew our energies, and do our share in many great tasks ahead so that the gains of a truly free and democratic society can be felt by all. Mabuhay tayong lahat. Thank you.